Man, this 8th anniversary just doesn't know how to stop. It just keeps wanting to give you awesome rewards. And, I mean, I'm not complaining. Welcome to the Fuse News. This, for sure, is episode 175. First off, new on the channel as of last weekend, Hiroshin shared his top 5 counterattacking units in the game. And notably, these are passive counterattacking units. So think more Artemiel than Verd. Although, there is a section where Verd comes up. You'll see what I'm talking about when you watch the video. I'm gonna have that linked at the end for you to take a look at. Next up, we have some good news. This is probably the easiest legendary scroll that you've ever gotten in your entire life, along with other rewards. The eighth anniversary just came out with a new event that all you gotta do is check in. As long as you open up the game daily, you're going to be getting new rewards, including a Devilmon, a Super Angel Mon, some scrolls, and a Legend scroll at the end. You'll also get some rewards that are great for general progression in Summoner's War. There are three six-star guaranteed Hero Plus runes in there too that you'll get just for opening up the game. That's live in-game right now, so just make sure that you're checking in daily. Also, Summoner's War got its most recent balance patch about a week ago now, and we've had time to kind of sit in with some of these units. A few notable ones got adjusted. Oliver and Nana both got the nurse that they deserved. What I love about their changes is that neither of them are going to be fully pushed out of the meta for this. You can still use both Oliver and Nana and find success with both of them. Nana even found herself a new combo in Leo and Ragdoll. If you happen to revive them, they're going to be revived within torrent range. So you can ignore defense right when they come back. Now that's just value. A couple other units also got way more interesting, including Delphoi, who now oblivions. This sets a great principle because this means that the devs are looking at older units and seeing how they can change them for the better, make them more interesting. Masha also found herself a new niche and the rune blacksmiths got some changes. If you want to read the full patch notes, I've got them linked in the description down below, but the patch is live right now so you can also read them within the collection. I've got another reminder for you guys now about the LA meetup that's happening on June 11th at Tom's Watch Bar, as is tradition at this point. This is going to be our third year at Tom's Watch Bar at 2 p.m. in June. You can register for the event using the link down below. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. On our streams this week, today I am going to be doing a Force Pick Douglas stream with LC33 because I just got one and I want to use him. So we're going to bring him on the ladder and into some friendlies. On Wednesday, I'm going to be collaborating with some of the people from Europe, so make sure that you're scoping it out, and I've got all the information that you need to watch it right down there. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of 175. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Keep on farming, and I'll see you all right back here for 176.